Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. We've all seen the Nissan Leaf in the wild, silently taking people to and from work, running errands, maybe dropping the kids off at school. But today, we're finding a Leaf that actually is wild. I present to you the Nissan Leaf Nismo RC. Yeah, it's a race car. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the Nissan Leaf Nismo RC. Oh. So that's gonna get us up to 60 miles an hour in 6.8 seconds. That doesn't sound very fast, but with 100% torque off the line, oh, it feels like I am moving. This car is insanely balanced. As I'm taking corners, there's none of this. Just stays flat and grounded. Look at that, oh. <laughs> it just wants to, it wants me to challenge it. And I'm up for the challenge. All right, so we're here with Miyatani san the president of Nismo. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. All right, let's get right into it. Nismo, tell me a little bit about what you guys do and how you fit into Nissan. Nismo is the abbreviation of Nissan Motorsports International Limited. When Nissan introduced LEAF and Nissan tries to claim Nissan is the zero emission leader, and we thought, hmm, it would be a nice idea to have the racing car of the LEAF. You got a leaf, you brought it into your engineering lab, and then what are some of the changes that you guys made? The layout of the battery changed, and from front to yeah. rear wheel drive. And we make it very light with the usage of the carbon fiber. However, when we do it, we, you have to keep the original production battery motor inverter. Otherwise, if you use another component, yeah. then it could be another thing. Sure, it could yeah. be a totally different car. Yeah. The maximum speed is 150 kilo, which is exactly the same as the normal Leaf. But the curb to reach that point uh, is much, much quicker. Uh, much quicker. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Usually at the race speed, of 150 kilo, blah, 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 then the about 20 minutes uh, battery okay. would last. So obviously if you guys were gonna get into some kind of racing league or start racing with this car, you would have to do some kind of battery swap. If we want to do it 30 minutes, 40 minutes, yep. then what are we gonna do? Yep. Probably we're gonna change the car itself. Okay. okay. And also we probably put some additional battery. Okay, some yeah. extra batteries in there. Some additional battery, but the battery itself is the same as the normal Leaf. Look at that. I feel like I'm in a speeder bike or something. Just shoot, shoot, shoot. You get more of a 50-50 weight balance, and you can really sense that in these back and forth, these S-curves, kind of the quick chicane, the left and right. You know, the number of times that I've been able to drive electric vehicles, especially sport style EVs, I thought, man, I really miss that engine sound. And I do, I love the engine sound. But I'm really starting to like this kind of sound. I don't know, it's, it's really growing on me. I didn't think that was gonna be the case. There's tons of carbon fiber, and I gotta say, it looks great. Not only does it make it lighter and stronger, but you feel like I am in an actual race car. This was at Le Mans. Yeah. Where else has it raced? In Europe, in China, and in Japan. And also in Japan, we did real race against other EV car, oh, like uh, okay. Tesla. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And we won. And you won. <laughs> All right. Uh, A little subtle jab there. OK, yeah. I see that. Yeah. All right. What do you guys have coming up next? Zero RC. The Zio RC Zero Emission On Demand racing car. OK. Which was uh, unveiled at Le Mans this year. We announced that this car is gonna run next year's Le Mans from Garage 56. And Garage 56 is kind of an experimental category, right? Yeah. It yeah. allows for people to be on the track that aren't maybe in the GT3 class or something like that. Right? But this car, with a speed of about 300 kilometers per hour. So twice. With an electric mode. Okay. Yeah. Which would be faster than the GTE category. Really? Of cars. Oh, that's gonna <laughs> so, ruffle some feathers. Yeah. <laughs> 
So another difference between this and your traditional buy it off the lot leaf is that this thing is 1,200 pounds lighter. Yes, and that has a lot to do with the carbon fiber monocoque. It also has a lot to do with the fact that there's no seats in the back. There's no amenities, no cup holders, no nav screen. This thing will run at full tilt, which is 93 miles an hour for about 20 minutes. So that's enough to get away from the cops for most of the time. They also changed the car, gave it a limited slip diff, which helps with the rear wheel drive performance and keeping the car on the track, which is where I like it. <laughs> okay, so this is awesome. What's super impressive is how the guts of this are essentially a production leaf. And sure, maybe this thing's not gonna be winning any races anytime soon, but what's exciting is what's to come. For Translogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.